you know, I wasn't I wasn't huge on the division, so I was just like, I, I don't need to play this. I didn't play it, but that's what I heard about the game. Mm-hmm. Destiny like games are just yeah. I I think they're insanely boring. I try my hardest to get in almost all of them, and like all of them are just insanely boring. Games. I played, so the thieves. I played the. I played <laughs> the games. Event. Well, that game's just boring. Period. I played the Avengers game recently. Mm-hmm. And I only got it for I got it for twenty bucks because it was a PS Plus deal digitally. And I got my brother has a game I don't have. It. I played up to like the part where you finally get to play as Iron Man, and you have to play as Iron Man and go get something for uh, the ship so your ship can fly in the air. But fucking, it was such a boring like Monopoly mission where Iron Man has to punch like three different things in order to break something. <laughs> and, but then there's like so many enemies on the screen and then I died after like trying it for five minutes straight took the long fight and I'm like this game sucks and I uninstalled it yeah, that Avengers like, game sucks listen the best Avengers wait you game returned game. it? well I had it digitally I got it digitally um I never bought it and like hard copy yeah, like the best of those like Marvel game games are, I, I'll still say like I like I love the first Ultimate Avengers. Like, oh, the, first Ultimate Alliance, Alliance, yeah. Yeah. the first Ultimate Alliance. The first Ultimate Alliance is a great, great like Party Diablo game. style RPG yeah. Marvel game. Yeah. Like it's really, really fun with people like when you have friends to play it with. Absolutely, yeah. Keep in mind, I played this as a kid, like on um, the the super scuffed PSP version. The PSP version was actually really impressive for yeah. what it was. Yeah, for what it was, it, like back in like two thousand, I think it was like two thousand six, two thousand seven. It was really impressive, but like, yeah, it is just the console version. Just I think it was more characters. Like I think it has more content. I don't think they took out anything. Yeah, it. but it's just it is super scuffed going back to it because the console ports have aged like way better. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I actually have Ultimate Alliance 3. I haven't beaten it, but I personally like it a lot. I just, it's much better than 2. I think 2 is by far the worst one. Yeah. It's just really boring. Because doesn't it, like, try to do the Civil War thing? Well, it, it's not even that. The Civil War part about it's cool. It's that the gameplay, it's not really an RPG anymore. Mm. Like, they basically, like, streamlined it really hard. So you're, so, like, you know how in Ultimate Alliance, the original one, you have, like, seven abilities or whatever? And you had to kind of, like, pick and choose which ones you wanted to actually use. Yeah, and, and, like, the costumes would affect your stats. And, like, every character had, like, three or four costumes. Uh, mm-hmm. In Ultimate Alliance 2, every character only has one costume. It doesn't affect their stats to so unlock it. And, um, on top of that, um, you only get four abilities that you just keep leveling up. And you, like, you pretty much unlock all of them at the beginning. And you just basically make them stronger. Wow. It's really lame. Mm-hmm. I never played the second one. I always played the first one. Yeah, because the, the second game, I bought the PC port because I never played it either besides, like, the really crappy PS2 version. And I pretty much stand by that, uh, like, that game was, like, is nowhere near as good as the first game. Like, it's not bad, but it's not that good either. It's only playable if you have friends. I think by yourself, it's an insanely boring game. No, um, what was it about? Okay, yeah, I just remembered. So, cause I was watching a video about Duke Nukem Forever yesterday. Oh, boy. And how in that... Because obviously it's super, it's super cursed game. Because it took forever to come out, and it's super buggy, and it's absolutely horrible. Now, I just remember the fact that, like, Gearbox owns Duke Nukem now. So it's like... And... That motherfucker, Randy Pitchford, is oh. never going to release a fucking Duke Nukem game ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the worst part is he apparently has... You know that really cool, like, 2001, like, beta of Duke Nukem Forever yeah. with, like, in Vegas and everything? Yeah, it's almost, like, almost finished, yeah. Yeah, he apparently has that build, and he basically refuses to, like, release it to the internet. Yeah. Like, he, he taunts that he has it and then refuses to release Why? it. Why? Because he's an asshole. Because yeah. he's literally just a douchebag. There's no other yeah, answer. Yeah, because here's the thing. Because, you know, like, so Randy Pitchford used to be a developer first. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say anything positive about working with Randy Pitchford. No. And keep in mind, this guy was working with, like, fucking... The guys at id who were fucking maniacs. Yes. <laughs> like, this, yeah, he was working with guys like American Spot. McGee and shit like that. that. So, like... Hurts. You know, I hear, like, he creates a, a bad story every time he, like, goes somewhere. Yeah. He's just, like, a weird douchebag person. Yeah, yeah, my boy Greasy Randy. So, shout out to... 
So for the longest time, there was a definitive version of Duke Nukem on PC called the Atom. I think it was the Megaton version. Yes. Yeah, the Megaton. That was I had that on PS3. That's like a really good version of the game. Yeah, it's basically it is considered the definitive version of Duke Nukem. It got delisted and then ran it. People nickname it the Curse the Randy Edition because it's just fucking awful. What is that walk door? I'm sorry. The new version's not bad. It's just not as good because it does actually have new content that you can't get in any other version. The yeah. problem is it just it, everything about that port is worse. Yeah, no, but the other the worst part is that it's missing the expansions that the Megaton ver version had. Like that had all the expansion and level packs. Whereas, uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, the one that Gearbox released is only like the base game with like the extra bonus missions. Yeah, I think that's it. And also, like, they changed, like, some control stuff, like, racially. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Bro, Resolution they... stuff and stuff like that as well. These cables are pooping themselves. Maybe I should just use the HDMI adapter. Oh, well. Uh, the next time I record, I'll fix that. What um, saying, Matt? No, yeah, that's really it. Just, like, yeah, that version's super cursed. And, like... Because here's the thing. It's, like, I absolutely think... Duke Nukem would be really successful nowadays. It's just the fact that, like, Gearbox is never going to do anything with it. They just don't give they, shit. Yeah, it, it's, it's fucked up because it's like, it's the same thing that happened with, like, Colonial Marines. Well, another Gearbox title. What a fucking surprise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, we all know how that game turned out. Oh my god, what? Yeah. Wait, what? Oh my god, oh, fuck. fuck. What was that? Nice they were like teleported they did, in. They literally fell from the building. Yeah, like, like, you want to hear just straight up gearbox moment is just the fact that like the AI doesn't work in Colonial Marines because they misspelled the word tether. <laughs> That's real. Yes. If you go into the, like the I and I files and change that word, the AI works properly. Jesus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that game was out How are you? though, wasn't it? Like, yeah, so gearbox, well, gearbox originally made it, and then like they outsourced it to somebody else because it took like ten fucking years to make. Yeah, it was originally an EA game. Yeah. I remember EA was supposed to make it. Oh, shit. Yeah, so Gearbox got a carcass. That's what it was. I got it mixed up. It wasn't a Gearbox game originally. EA had it, and then Gearbox got it. But it's super cursed. Me and Nick started playing um, a couple of weeks ago. We started playing Fireteam Elite. That game's pretty decent, actually. I like that game. It, like it. It's good. I just think that on the normal difficulty, it, it kind of it's either really boring or like... Yeah. Not, it's really, like, I, I don't know, the balance, the, the difficulty is, like, not too good. It's not as bad as Back for Blood, because Back for Blood is actually garbage. I have literally no the idea why I'm going to be excited for that. Horrible. I got a free key for Back for Blood, because I was, like, because I, I was a Gotham City Imposters veteran. So. <laughs> Dude, that game, I, I that game love that game. Yeah. You know, Gotham City Imposters was so fun. It was so fun, but it's, like... The biggest issue was the fact that you had to pay. It wasn't free to play at first. No. Yeah, I remember I played the beta and I really, really liked it. And then I played it again when it went free to play. I mean, by that point, it was almost dead. But, like, I remember, like, God of the Imposters was a crazy fun game. I wish they made more games like that. I don't know. I wish it was. Games that went free to play. Mm -hmm. There's another free world in Windows 101, Matt. It's time to play. Wow, you can get like maybe an extra like 15 minutes of content. You can get like uh, actually it's probably it's actually probably closer to like three hours of content. Wow, that's yeah. really surprising. You get a like, four hours of a free game. Spider-Man is reaching out for me. Help! Uh, you can get to level 20, Matt. Wow, that's crazy. That's pretty good. Oh my god! You want to get to level 20 with me? Uh, I would never play that game again. Yeah. Uh, no. Unless you really wanted to play... Like, the, here's the thing. The I'm never going to play an MMO that requires a subscription. Yeah, like, I won't either. Like, that's I'm never doing that again. That's you really don't want to sunset. 10 out of 10. Badass seal of approval. Why are there monthly payments for fucking MMOs? I want Because they need to... Because te yeah, technically the, the content is free. The and content is free. Like, the release on those games content is free. Yeah. It, uh, especially that game. So they, like, upkeep the cost of maintaining servers and stuff like that by just having a subscription model. That is a really nice looking set. Yeah. I never played those games, ever. It's not good, though. Ah! Stop no, doing I, that! I said it's not. Well, because that game's also pay to win, right? Yeah, like, because here's the thing. The actual combat system for Wizard 101 is really cool. cool. I like it. It's very unique. It's a very unique combat system. The problem is it's, like, especially for going to PvP, it's super oh, pay to win. Oh, it's, it's super pay to win, and the PvP now is bad. I played it, like... Probably close to a year ago, 
And uh, it's just not good. Yeah, and also just. I like, think game's still alive. I thought that game would be like dead. All like the fringy like preteen teenagers with really <laughs> rich parents play the game. Yeah, because basically to play Wizard 101 at a high level, you need to be a whale. Yeah, you need to be a whale, but like also a kid. Yeah, like was it Wizard 101 or was it Free Realms that had like a PS3 version? It was that Free, Realms. Free Realms. Yeah, I, I still want to know. I know it's closed, but like I wonder if Free Realms is even like a thing. Free Realms, the little animals. Yeah, it was a little squirrel that was voiced by Titus. He goes Free Realms. Free Realms. Yeah, I remember that. That's the like, only reason why I remember that game. Was that like Webkins? There's so many bad. MMO games that have come out. In the now, past, see, like, Fusion Fall is the best. One. Oh, dude, Fusion Fall was so much fun. Yeah, Fusion Fall, and also was free. Fusion Fall was free. Yeah. That was the best part. Oh, just make an account and play. That was it. Who remembers uh, Nick Tropolis? I I actually used to play that. A I lot. played the Tropolis. I never played. That. I a played it. Long amount of time. I I used to play it a lot as a kid too, and I remember. I think my account was like when it first opened, and I remember even when I was like I think it was like 2009 or 10, like right before they were shutting it down. I went back on and like all these people would like would like tar- like try to talk like why is your account so old why are you this old person playing a video game like I'm like ten let's chill and yeah, my account was like really old too because I started playing the game it's a funny story actually um well back when I went to uh, a summer camp uh, that we affectionately called touch my um and that's all I'll say about the matter. Um, I I, the more I think about it, the fact that it's owned by the YMCA and that's why we called it that is like it just makes it even better. But uh, anyway, uh, when I was like eight or something, I started going to the summer camp because uh, that's what happens when you don't have uh, parents to watch you in the summertime. <laughs> um, you, uh, I like, I guess I like hurt my hand or something playing Gaga because, yes, me, an eight year old, was getting thrashed around by like 12 and 13 year olds playing Gaga. Why, um, did, you, why did they mix the ages that much? Uh, it was 13 year olds playing. It was back eight. in two, it was back in 2007. I don't think they cared. Now, but now they do. Now they don't even let you play Gaga. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, we were playing Gaga. I like hurt my hand or something. And these three, like, 12 or 13 year old girls all like like followed me around for the rest of the day because apparently i was cute while i was crying you know what and so they pitied me anyway after like two weeks they became my close friends and uh and they all i made them all make nictropolis accounts it was pretty funny (laughs) it was so funny and then they kept asking me which of them was their which of them uh was my favorite they would always ask me which one of the three girls was my favorite. I never answered them because I was kind of honestly I forgot who they were <laughs> between days. I didn't care. Ah yes, woman that follows me around. Yeah, that's Catch why. Be that's why all my my just friends from, from from camp uh, called me ladies man for the longest time because like I just didn't care. Because I was oh when I was eight I wasn't yeah when you're when you're eight when you're eight you don't care. <laughs> yeah, like they were just girls. I was never attracted to female. Oh my god, what the heck is happening? Oh, okay, we're good. Oh, whoa! Oh my god, that sniper hurts. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, that that was, that was so the worst line I think I've ever heard Toby McGuire speak. And you know what, this that, man said, now dig on this. Just for that, I hope he's not pretty spicy. I want him just to be that. All right, don't don't just hit off that, that building. Just for that, I'm murdering this man. Fuck no! He's dead. dead. Spider Man doesn't kill people. Oh my god. Man. Now I'm just thinking about like, what was that game? Fucking wasn't wasn't Shadow Memories? Fucking Web of Shadows. Web of Shadows. Ooh. Holy shit! You know what's funny? Like, Web of Shadows looks significantly worse in this game. Yeah, that game is nutty. Not Wait, it looked enough. worse? Yes. Yeah. worse. Oh, you know, I agree. I remember I played through Spider-Man 3 and Web of Shadows, like, back-to-back. Again, in preparation for Spider-Man PS4. And I remember Spider-Man 3 has the most butt-ugly models I've ever seen, but, like, the lighting isn't terrible. Web of Shadows just looks butt-ugly, like, period. Like, the suits look, like, okay, but, like, the game is just ugly. Yeah, and also just... Sorry, punch the car. <laughs> like, also just the thing with, um... With the web of shadows is, 
I, who the fuck did they get to voice Peter in that? Game? Oh yeah, he sounds like a whiny little like. Yeah, yeah. He he sounds like a like a. I'm Spider Man. Yeah. That's him. Don't make fun of me. I take pictures and beat up. Yeah, there's, there's there's this amazing scene towards the beginning where he goes, where where is this redheaded girl and, and the big guy that follows her and he, like he sounds like a complete bitch. Like he just literally sounds like. Like I get, I get this Spider-Man supposed to sound like kind of like I don't know, like dorky, but like this is like full on like manlet, like twink, yeah. like put on intimidation mode. Yeah, like In suit. Oh my god, are we gonna go back to the Spider-Man Homecoming? That scene is cringe. I don't like. Uh, I I don't like that movie. That movie sucks. It what sucks. about Far? What about Far From Home? I think Far From Home is a huge step up. I didn't mind. I like that movie. It was, it was okay. I didn't like the twist in Far From Home. It was too stupid. I well, the I mean, I knew it was coming because you know who Mysterio is. It, it the twist good. is only dumb because of the fact it that just makes no sense. Peter is so stupid to give up, like basically like military technology to someone who's That's never why. It, it is so stupid they would do that. <laughs> What do you care? Oh my god. He's not even trying at all. What do you care anyway? It's just like, I gotta go work on some stuff. Tomorrow Look, I like want to be in the next movie, dude. Just don't make me record lines for this video game. It, yeah, it I'm like, guessing I had to be, you. this had to be like a contractual thing. Like, I can't, I cannot imagine him like actually like willingly wanting to do this. I think it was just like in his contract. If you're, if there's a video game based off this movie, you have to voice act for it. And he's like, okay, you like, yeah, okay, sure. Uncle Ben. Great Gatsby video game. So that's just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. That's when, okay, when is there going to be the Great Gatsby video game? Okay. When is there going to be a Great Gatsby 2? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Duke got shot. Die in a pool. There is no 2. What are you talking about? When am I going to get my Rogue One sequel? <laughs> or no, I'm sorry, not Rogue One. Oh, is it? Wait, what's, what's yeah. the movie? When's yeah. Rogue 2? Oh, yeah, when's Rogue 2? Oh, Rogue 2. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I didn't like basically just all those movies are kind of fucking flop. Uh, what the like the Star Wars side movies? Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Uh, Rogue so, One made a lot of money. I think it was so I think uh, Solo flopped, and honestly, it didn't deserve to because Solo was a better movie. Than I think Rogue uh, Rogue One didn't Rogue One make a billion dollars? Rogue One made a lot of money, and Rogue One, I think the first half of the movie's like not garbage, it's just boring. It's boring. And then the second half is like amazing, the yeah. second half is legitimately yeah. really good. But you gotta watch the first half first. Yeah, but you have to get through the like the first like the boring half, kind of first crap. Half, yeah, where they have to introduce the characters 